Harry's alarm went off at six o'clock this morning with the plan of climbing that thing. Uh, last night, Polly sold it to me as a 15 minute climb. It turned out to be a lot more, a lot more. But we didn't do all of it, did we? Well, these guys, big wishes. <laughs> and also, I got my car stuck. Look at this. <laughs> Not getting up there, that's for sure. So on the bikes this morning, it is a bit of a overcast, cloudy day, about 15 degrees at 10 a.m. So cannot complain too much. I'm riding over to Tango Bar to meet up with a few mates because today we're gonna go for a bit of an epic one. I've got my pockets full of snacks. Everyone's been gearing up for this one for a couple of days. Excited to get stuck in. Good morning mate. Good morning mate, how are you? Fancy seeing you in Calpe. I know, well, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> about, about four years I think. Really? Oh. Last time Ken and I were here was three years ago when Covid really happened. Wow, but you came back since to do the, the, the little backpacking trip with Francis, right? But you didn't come to Calpe. Oh yeah, you did. We, dry, we Francis drove here. Did. We Francis. Yeah, Francis did. We drove yeah. here and had dinner with you. Yeah, because Francis left his, his bar bag in, in Calpe so I had to drive all the way back to collect it, remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we doing today? Do a razz up the rats. A razz. A razz up the rats. Yeah. I'm still kind of recovering from, I think, a chest infection. So I'm just going to two tour along. Right, it's last day. Fly last day? Tomorrow. Yeah, fly home tomorrow. Oh, mate. 6.30, I'm getting picked up. Oh, that what is, is this bullshit? Could have been sunny for your last day. You all right? Very good. I had to run my brake pads on the floor so I'm <laughs> able to brake. <laughs> Hello, Hello, buddy. You all right? I hear you were rubbing your brake pads. I'm going to go around right there. I knew they were just going out like Jenny and came out. Chris, do the wind dance. The pee pee dance. Yeah, do the wind pee -pee dance. Days. He needs a pee. Lawrence, your uh, ben was out tires. Uh, non matching tires is the new fashion. Is it faster? Yeah, much more fast. Okay. They're different whips as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thick, <laughs> thick on the back. Like it's, it's like a tractor. I'm on check on breakfast. <laughs> oh, Chris, bars on steroids. Yeah, they are. Aren't they? they are, aren't they? Oh, they're back. I better get my bike. Hello! Them anyway. So just rolling towards past end this morning, we've got a big crew out, we've got a big crew. The idea is that we're going to go for Harry Mack, who some of you might recognise well from the videos. We're going to go to Colorats, which is a big segment that everyone trains out over here. One of the most competitive segments in the world, and we're going to give him a bit of a lead out and see how far up the leaderboard he can get. Look how pretty it is. <laughs> Mate, there's so many cyclists out! Nice. Look how many! Imagine being a car driver now. Yeah. Do your best time at rats. 15 and a half. Oh. How are you feeling about that, mate? You got it in you today? I need to lift up a lead out. <laughs> Can I send someone to halfway? To help well, me? luckily we've got yes. a lead out. Hopefully. He's in his skin suit. Um, uh, He's got the aero socks on. I haven't got the thing to put my shoelaces there. But. Uh, what does he have for breakfast? That's the big question. Porridge. Porridge. Big bowl of porridge. And coffees? A lot. A lot. <laughs> I, I, I need a toilet stop halfway at rats. <laughs> well, so we checked the wind yesterday, didn't we? We're going all in. What, what does it say? Uh, it's a headwind, but not much. Okay. So. A soft headwind. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, the next day will be better, but yeah. half of these people go home, so. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think yeah. Ken. Ken's the main one. Ken's the main one. I need guy. the lead out from Ken. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect to have a traffic light right at the bottom of the effort. Eh? What we're going to do is rush the slipstream with those 14 year olds <laughs> and ping past, and they're all going to jump on our wheel and it's going to be fing <laughs> carnage. There is hundreds of people out today. Look yeah, at this. We're going to get towed up in a peloton here. <laughs> this, this is where everything happens. But bottom of yeah, colder rats. Recently, a load of the, oh, right. the um, segments went, or the actual the, the colder rats segment went. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And it was a Spanish girl, and I looked at it and I was like, is that really, really this girl? I'm not sure. Anyway, I sat on it for a while. and you then it, didn't I you? didn't, but someone else did. <laughs> no, there was heart rate and everything. <laughs> so she's in the car, like stomping her feet, getting her heart rate up. It was a nice, consistent effort. So whoever was doing it knew what they were doing. Players are coming off, mate. It's getting serious. Because I'm the coach, yeah. I can tell everyone to go full gas bottom to top, but then I'm only going to do five minutes. <laughs> and then wave us goodbye. Yeah. yeah. See you, lads. See you. Bruh. 
fucking headwind as well. Oh. <laughs> well done. That was the slowest lead out I've ever had. <laughs> I was doing 200 watts on the wheel. Yeah, it needed more. It was so windy on the front though, you just, it was hard to... If you get a tiny bit too much into the red, then a little bit too easy. Yeah. It was so hard to find that. Yeah. Sweet spot. Uh, the let's try and catch the bus at the light so we can go around it. Okay, go, go. Yeah, I'm ready for my ready for my first lunch interval. <laughs> this is steep. This is steep. It's just fourteen percent. How the legs, Harry? I feel good. Are you as tired as I'm after that effort? Oh my goodness. I feel good. I need some sugar. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> I need more gears. They were actually going to pot 30, 40 cassettes on our bikes. Really? And everyone was like, no, no. Oh, thanks, Harry. Out of the sunshine and into the fog. I know, literally the cloud disappears. The cloud disappears into the road. <laughs> the road disappears into the cloud. Oh, no, we're only at 452. Oh, feels a lot higher. Still filming, hello. What do you want to say to the camera? <sighs> Pain. My legs won't make it. Well, you've got this far, I know, as well. yeah. Oh, I hate when Julie's go inside out. <laughs> Would you do that again, Lucy? Yes. Yeah? I've been missing the steep stuff. <laughs> 71 kilometers. Right. This road that we did here is absolutely stunning. It was not actually tarmacked until a couple of years ago. But I think a stage of maybe the Volta went up here, so they tarmacked it recently. <laughs> Uh, the massive group that we had this morning is now reduced dramatically. There's now five of us, just the keen beans. What? Oh, Lawrence. What is this man doing? Has he noticed I'm filming him? No, no, he hasn't. What's he talking about, mate? You. <laughs> oh. I, I took a nap. What did you do that for? I bonked, so I decided I was going to take a nap. <laughs> My mech took a nap as well. <laughs> Wait, but look at look at the fucking skewer. Look, I've took a, a massive chunk out of the, the, the skewer. She's taken a chunk out of the pedal too. We made it to the town of Father Ebo. Unfortunately, as you guys would have just seen, um, Harry's had a bit of an laugh, banged up his knee. Uh, crucially, his rear mech has been snapped off his bike, so he's kind of stranded. Luckily, we've got some good friends around this area, so someone's gonna come out in the car to come and collect him. What'd you get, Harry? Come on. Oh, 15 minutes dead. 15 dead? That's incredible. Where's that, where's that put you on the leaderboard? <laughs> Let's not talk about that bit. Oh, yeah. there we go. Oh, Thank wow, you. that looks good. Can we all sign There you go, mate. Thank you. See you back in the villa. I'll see you back in the villa. Get the beers in. <laughs> So just like that, the five days in Calpe that I had is gone and I am back on the road. I'm driving all the way back to Girona. It's another five and a half hour drive. But this time, I've got someone joining me for the journey. Hello. How's it going? Great. Two hours in. Yeah. Have you got the keys, Danny? Well, I don't, so I'm hoping you do. Got some cookies. <laughs> oh, no, I do. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> We've entered a race. I've spoken about it before. It's called La Santa Val, it's a gravel race. It is taking place tomorrow. It starts quite early in the morning in Girona. That's why she's tagging along with me. We're gonna see how we get on. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Right. Thanks, good shift. Thanks very much. Almost there. Taxi service done. Swapping sides of the car, we are now only a couple of hours away, it is about six o'clock. I'm gonna leave you guys here because this evening you're not gonna miss out on a lot. We're gonna have dinner, head to bed relatively early and then tomorrow is go time. Stay tuned for that one. Until then guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and catch you on the next one. Ciao.